Hi everyone, this is Derek the Ditwit. Thanks to everyone who's just checking me out for the first time, and thank you for all my people, wonderful subscribers that keep coming back to listen to me talk about myself a couple times a week. So, I'm about a day earlier than normal, but I got some fun mail the other day, and I haven't opened it yet because I wanted to do that on camera. Now, when the packages showed up, they showed up with the name cut off. I mean, my name went cut off. And then who he was coming from was cut off. And, like, not just scratched, you know, by accident. It looks like someone went in and actively tried to take it out. So, either they were recycling, <clears throat> pre-printed things, or, which I'm not sure how that would work. I don't think you could do that. Or they're trying to be... um secret Santa type thing. So, judging by kind of the address where it's coming from and looking from the email of someone who emailed about sending the same yarn, I'm going to assume it's from them. So, and I do appreciate it. So, and I know I'm kind of close to the camera. I'm, I found my tripod. Of course, I didn't find it until after I ordered another one from eBay. But I found my tripod. But to get it high enough, it's Balanced on some boxes, and Little Miss is chewing on a cardboard box over here. Um, so, we'll see how this works. I actually can't see myself recording. So, maybe I'll actually look at the camera, not at me. But anyway, here is opening the first box. And yay! It's a bag. Everyone needs bags. Everyone always needed project bags. Hey, and this one's got a little velcro thing. I can close it at the top. Let it snow. Yeah, you can let it snow since I don't have to go outside and in. Hey, Google, how many days until January 8th? 22 days. In 22 days, I'm flying to Cozumel. Yay. You done talking, Google? So first one we have, this is Yarn Art Tweed Country. And this is made in Turkey. I'm trying to find if it. 30% wool, 60% acrylic, 10% viscous. I always hear people saying viscous. I've never actually seen it written down. Why did I just smell it? So it's it's soft. It, it's softer than regular acrylic. And it's definitely softer than plain wool. And I like it chill in here in my house, but it kind of makes me feel like my nose is running, even if it's not. But I do like the color, kind of a tannish brown with a little bit of a pinkish purple color. Hint to it, we got one, two, three, four, five of those. And it's a super bulky size six. Use nine millimeters or US 13 needles, or well, I guess it'd be the same thing for needles or hooks. Cool. And each each of the bundle has seventy six point five five yards. Well, there's a. I know that. If I understand correctly, what we use for decimal points, you'll use commas. Because I don't think it's 7,655 yards. I'm going to go with 76.5 yards. 70 meters. See so yeah, how 76 yards sounds about right. Oh, this is soft. This is Lion Brand Yarns Homespun Thick and Quick. I remember when I first started loom knitting. Well, hello, little miss. Um. When I first started loom knitting, I used a yarn like this, and I, of course, you know, when you're new to it, you don't really know what you're doing, and your technique is just atrocious. I kept getting the, you know, now, you know, splitting the thread, but I didn't know what it was, but I know that it drove me bonkers when I first started doing it, but of course, I have since then, you know, I've learned, one, not to be so, not to be as, really, 
She's on the cat tree looking out the window and there's not even anything happening out there. My cat is insane. But anyway, I'm still a tight knitter and a tight crocheter, but I was an insanely tight when I first started. And so this kind of yarn I could have done what worked with, but I can now. And I like, and I'm excited because I know that this type of uh, yarn will make something that's really super fluffy. And I'm sorry that my cat is distracting me. But anyway, the color is listed as Tudor. There's 88% acrylic, 12% polyester, super bulky six. So yeah, so I'm excited to see what I can do with that. And some Hobium stickers. I love Hobium. Love Hobium. Cool. I mean, I guess the little pom pom makers. Uh, and a, a tag to put on a finished product. I'll have to experiment with those kind of problems. I have the scooch off camera for a second. I have these palms because kind of the cheater ones. They're easy. I like, you know, and so they'll make palms that look like this and they're making a bunch of palms. If my cats don't steal them, which they think anything round and furry is theirs. But I'm trying to save the palms like this. What I use is the tail of the yarn when, it, when it's, you know, get to the point you really can't do it for anything else. Because I want to make a, get one of those little, you know, those gripper things that you put under rugs. Like the little, the, not the, just the corner pieces, but the one that's like an actual, you know, mesh rug. But it's like sticky, grippy stuff. I'm going to take it and make a rug out of palms. So, that's what, that. But and then, into little beads. So that's kind of cool, little butterfly beads. And I can use thread and I can actually attach those as decorations on projects I'm doing. And I can have butterflies that I'll better put these up for my little miss. Gets into them. Say hi. Say hi. Nope. Max knows what the cam what it means when I point the camera at him, and that's when he goes and hides. And he's currently sitting on the couch just what I get up and he takes my seat because it's warm. He's up quick. And then the second box we have here. Now these don't have the tags on them, but I've got some yarn that I won from Crystal from Bag of Day that look real similar to this with the if you can it will show where it looks like you've got the white stripes going around the the other the blue. So those are fun to work with. Okay. Twisted Jean Yarn. Oh, that looks, this looks like fun. This is soft too, almost furry is not the right word, fuzzy, but a soft fuzzy. So this is 100% premium acrylic, but it's 218 yards each one. And it's a, where is it? Well, you'll use a five millimeter or a US eight is what it's saying for the the needles that you would use. So there's two of those. And look, another bag, a project bag. This is Mary Maxim boot cuffs and fingerless gloves kit. Fits the average lady. That amuses me. The average lady. Now, this is, let me open this. If this has got a pattern, my sister has been wanting fingerless gloves, and we found her a couple crochet patterns, but she got herself. She can do stuff, but she doesn't have. She needs to work on her confidence. And so, you know, really? I don't know if you can hear her chirping over there. Or falling off the cat tree. <coughs> Excuse me. But you know, my sister could do stuff, but 
she needs to work on her confidence. So that's what we're kind of pushing with her, you know, helping her with the confidence and stuff. Um, but she was, when we had the crochet court, the crochet class at my house, you know, once we figured out that she needs to do it right-handed, not left-handed, she actually was doing real well. But she went immediately into granny squares, and I think she kept getting confused with following the pattern and where to turn it and you know, whatnot, that she just, she overwhelmed herself. Both cats are being crazy now. So, um, I've kind of had her back up, and I'm just... Gave her, gave her, you know, a little ball of scrap yarn and just said, here, we're just going to do, stink, you know, ten, rows of 10 stitches. You're just going to do single crochet until you, back and forth until you're comfortable with it. And she kind of got, she's doing real good. The stitches look nice. They're even, she, they're looser, you know, they look really nice. I mean, they look better than I did when I first started. And she is, we are catching that she wants to, to turn you know, like you would with a granny square, instead of just back, you know, flip it and go back and forth. So, but we're working on that, and I've, this scarf pattern that I'm working on for David, um, it's, you know, the single stitch, or single crochet, and then four double crochets together. So she'd be able to do it. You know, she doesn't, uh, she probably thinks she can't do it, but she'd be able to do it. We just, you know, we have to get her on the double crochet, you know, teach her that stitch, but that's not going to be hard. I mean, she's got the... I think once you can do a single crochet, you've got the hardest part of it down. So, put it in here. Okay, yes, and it does have the patterns in here. Um, so, I know she wants to do a, you know, she wanted some fingerless gloves because, you know, she's skinny and she's, she's not as skinny as she used to be, which is good. But she is always, always cold. Even in Cozumel, when it is 90 degrees outside, if she steps in the shade, she's cold. If there's a breeze, she gets cold. And yeah, she's probably anemic, but she, you know, she takes her vitamins and her iron pills and whatnot. So, but yeah, this is looks like you know I will go in and learn do this pattern, learn how to do it, and then I can teach her, and she'll be able to make herself some fingerless gloves. Oh, superwash merino and bamboo blend. Now I love bamboo yarn. It's softer, and bamboo is in, infinitely fast, you know, quick, you know, quick, quickly renewable resource. You know, bamboo, I mean, it, it grows fast. I, I've had bamboo washcloths before that they were just super, super soft. Now, I use this thing, mail order thing called Grove, that where I can um, get, like, cleaning supplies and whatnot. And they're, they're a... Fairly well, you know, ec you know, ecologically, you know, respectful of whatever company. You know, they do you know, like, um, sorry, I forget how to words here for a minute. You know, they're, they're into recycling and reducing, you know, waste and whatnot. And a lot of, you know, using the renewable resources. Now, I did try their bamboo toilet paper. And I can deal with, you know, John Wayne toilet paper, you know rough tough and didn't take crap off anybody but i really couldn't even put up with the bamboo toilet paper and i know that there's got to be better better bamboo toilet paper and their their bamboo i have a friend that tried the bamboo paper towels and they were pretty hideous um you know and it doesn't make sense to if you're going to take use bamboo which is renewable but um if it takes you four times as much bamboo product as it is to use one regular one you know it sometimes you gotta wonder you know is that worth it yet but i still want to look around i've got a link saved on my computer for another place that sells bamboo tool paper i want to get check it out and get some and try it um plus anything that i can get delivered to my house where i don't actually i go out to the store is nice because yeah i mean best system is great you know I've, i can actually you know rent an electric scooter and you know zip around whatnot best systems you know is really good out here i'm sure not as good to like you know major city like you know new york city or los angeles or something like that but it's i mean it's for what it used to be and for what i need it's really great um but it does limit how much i can buy at once because i have to carry what i buy in one trip and generally about two blocks minimum two to three blocks minimum what i have to walk from the bus stop to my house, 
you know, so whatever I carry, I mean, like today I went grocery shopping and I usually just pick up a week's worth of food at a time, but I picked up three two liter bottles of soda. I know it's not good for me, but it's diet soda at least. And that's probably not good for me either, but I have drastically cut down. But anyway, but that's still, I mean, that's heavy carrying back. Plus, um, some Dollar Tree has this amazing, what they call LA Awesome, or La Awesome, I'm not sure what it is, but it's this, it comes in this yellow bottle, and it's a dollar, and it's really, really good. So, okay, anyway, now I don't care about you going to Dollar Tree. Anyway, this is, yeah, the Superwash Merino and Bamboo Blend. Did I ever mention I have ADHD? I always joke that I have the attention span of a gnat on crack and the memory of a goldfish with Alzheimer's. So, anyway, this is still very soft. But it's 70% wool, 30% bamboo sourced viscous. Viscose? It's a light three to use. Oh, this is gave, gives a needle range. That's the first time I've seen that. You use a, a five to a seven or a 3.75 to a 4.5 millimeter. So that's really neat. So I'm excited. I want to. I can add that to my list of things to do. And you've got in the little kit you've two of this kind of purple, reddish to, to red, reddish orange color. They call it King's Plains. And this one, Flagstaff Hill. So get those three together. Nitology Glowing Worsted. It's C, S E A, the color. 40% superwash merino, 30% silk, 30% alpaca. And 150 yards. Suggested needle size US 8 to 10 or 5 to 6 millimeter. And it is very soft. So, yeah. So, there's two of those. He's down before they fall. Ah, there's a little buff ball. That is so cute. This is a Karen Chunky Cupcake. I've seen these and I've been interested in them. I've just never bought one. A shaker rib knit hat. I guess it's got the picture for like a pattern I could do. So but it says it calls for a US 9 or a 5.5 millimeter. And the color is Jam Session. It's a bulky five. And this says it's 100% acrylic. And the pom-pom is 85% acrylic, 15% polyester. It's very soft. So that's cool. That's something fun to try. I like doing the pom-poms, whether they're the furry kind like that or the ones made out of yarn like I did with the little, this thing. My sister doesn't like the pom-poms. I just think they're fun. And Karen Simply Soft Tweets. This one is taupe. It's medium four and five millimeter needles and hooks. And it's soft too. I like, yeah, well of course it would be it says soft, but Karen's a good brand. And that is for it for the Happy Mail. So I'm excited about that. I always like having a yarn. And I have plenty of yarn. But you always want more. And my thing is I like to go on eBay and get the, um, the little bitty you know, balls that are like 50, 25 to 50 grams. I can get them for a dollar or less. Although the var variegated, I guess, you know, the color change ones, those tend to get a little bit you know, people will bid on more of them, so they get a little bit higher. You might get up to 2 or $3 a ball. But they're usually a bamboo cotton, and so that's really nice. But, so I've been playing on eBay this morning. Bidding on things I absolutely don't need. And they have stainless steel circular needles, I found. 75 cents each. Um, Itty bitty tiny sizes. You know, like, you could almost sew with them. 
up to the biggest one they had was a five millimeter so i ordered one of those but um i mean for 75 cents i wouldn't really need one much smaller than a five but the cable that connects them is 80 centimeters which is quite a you know quite long so that's nice so anyway oops. on my projects that i've got going on right now this is the um David scarf that I'm working on. I don't know if it's coming in. This is crystal bag of date pattern. And I know I mentioned it before, the pattern that I got from her, but if I did again, is the Taste the Rainbow pattern. So we're going to do that. And then I really, I really like the pattern. And now that I've done, you know, a decent amount of it. I don't actually have to follow the written pattern anymore. I can I can remember what the ends are. And because and it, it's just it looks neat and it's textured and it's fun. And so I'm going to frog this blanket that my purple blanket that I'd started on that I have to order more yarn. And Let's see how long this blank is. Okay. So this is basically, you know, twice as, okay, it probably doesn't need to be that wide. But I might, you know, do that. I want to frog that whole thing. I think this is like three balls of yarn, just about. I'm going to frog all of it. And I'm going to start over with the Taste the Rainbow pattern. Plus on this one. You know, look, um, the beginning of it, I mean, there's the stitches, the number of stitches in each row is not uniform, and I know that. So I've been looking at it thinking, I don't like it, I want to make it prettier. And, but just thinking, I've got this, done this much, I don't want to start over. And, even though I wanted to start over. So finally, I'm just going to take the plunge, I'm going to frog it. So that's what I'm going to do when I get finished here. And the scarf that I was knitting for David that is the same color as the scarf I'm crocheting for him, but this one, we are going to frog it and cannibalize the yarn to stick over in and for the, the crochet one. Because I don't know that, I mean... For one, the crochet one looks a lot nicer than the knitted one is going to. Um, and he doesn't need two yellow scarves. He'd probably be he'd be thrilled with two yellow scarves, but he doesn't need two yellow scarves. I can always make him a second scarf. Now, when I did that, I showed you a couple weeks ago that Wanderlust pattern I was in for Chuck with the hat and the scarf. Now, the, the hat came out way too small. The scarf was way too short. But the pattern, it's one, each, you know... Each row, you know, is a stitch. And then the next stitch, you know, the next row is a new stitch. And you can, so it's not, like the Taste of Rainbow, you just have to do it in multiples of, I think it was five plus two. Well, on the Wanderlust, you can, because for one, you're supposed to do one row, one stitch is knitting in the third loop, which I had someone, I finally had someone who was able to show me what it is, but I ended up just knitting in the back loop, and I like that. So it doesn't, I can make it however many stitches I want. So we're going to redo it and make a hat that actually fits his head. Because the hat that I got really almost doesn't fit my head. And I have a little head. I can fit a toddler size bike helmet. Um, so yeah, so it barely fit my head. It definitely wasn't going to fit Chuck's. And the scarf was definitely too short. But it was my first time in the pattern. It's kind of a learning process. You went up. So we're going to start over with him. And he's going to do this color. This was some that I won from Crystal. This is the Mandala Tweed and the Lucky Penny color. It was funny because he, first he'd asked if I had any black. And I was going through my one, two, three, four totes. Well, okay, I have to take another five totes, but two of them are smaller totes that equal the size of one of the bigger ones but and they're about 16 18 gallon size totes 
I have like this four foot tall pile of yarn in my corner. Um, and all of that, I have no black yarn. So, actually I don't have a lot of solid color yarns. I've got some projects I want to do eventually that call for, for like needing solid colors because, you know, there's actually going to be pictures in the yarn. I'm not, I don't think my skill level's to that yet. So, I haven't focused on buying, you know, solid, you know, colors. Um, Max? So, and then another project I'm about to start because I, you know, eight projects is not enough for me. Uh, I use this app called, it's Ablo, A-B-L-O. Google Play got me onto it, and it's kind of like chat roulette, but you're not video chatting. You're just messaging with people. You know, and there's a lot of warnings. You'll keep it cleaning and whatnot, or when you're pairing, they're pairing you with people, they do suggestions of, like, what's an opening question? Like, you know, what would you do if you were invisible? Or, um, what was your, you know, what did, you know, what was your la your latest your last kitchen fail. I mean, it was, you know, kind of interesting, stuff like that. It's very much a wholesome app, at least as far as I've seen. I have not seen any anatomy I haven't wanted. I haven't been asked for any pictures of anatomy. Um, and it's neat, because when you go on there, you fill out your basic profile, whatnot. But what it does is it takes you, it's, you have this little animation of an airplane, but it's flying you to wherever, you know, all over the world. Um, but it'll tell you who, you know, okay, we're flying you to Turkey and you're going to meet someone from Turkey, you know, whatnot, or you can choose, you can actually go in and choose, say, okay, I want to meet someone from Europe or I want to meet someone from the U.S. or I want to meet a male or I want to be fam female. Um, but it, it's neat. It's awesome. And for someone who prefers their contact with humanity through technology, it's nice because it lets me meet new people without actually leaving my house. But anyway, so there's a guy in Mexico that I've been talking to, and we were talking about knitting, or I mentioned I was, that I knit and crocheted one, and he asked if I'd make him a scarf. So I'm going to make him a scarf in that same lovely taste of railroad pattern that has become my new favorite pattern. And she sells the written pattern for two bucks on Etsy. And she does have a video tutorial on it. That's free. But I'm going to do that in the Mirafil, which this is cotton, 100% Pima cotton, but this is the African violet color, and he asked for purple. So, we that's make with him, for him. And then once I get it done, then I will mail it off to him. So, but anyway, I'm sure this video's gone long enough. I need to pick up yarn before my cats get excited, you know, even more excited than they are. They figured out how to get into the, I don't know if you can see, way back, I guess on the fridge, is my desk drawer. They were recently replaced my fridge, and of course, it wasn't perfectly, you know, very clean. I've got to clean, like, it was in a storage shed, I think. But I've got to clean the outside of it, so I haven't put my new magnets on there. So there are the drawers. The cats get in and chew the magnets. And I think she's found a magnet. So I need to go rescue my magnet from the cat and get all this stuff and get working on frogging out three balls of yarn for a blanket and whatnot. So... I will be back in time.